I'm jealous. I wish I felt energetic. It's kind of a gloomy day out and yeah, I hate gloomy days and I know everyone struggles with gray days, but it just seems like when it's gray and nasty outside, I just have no motivation to get anything done and it can't be that way today because I have some stuff I have to get done and so I'm trying to get myself <laughs> kicked into gear so I made myself an iced latte. It's the best way to get me moving on a day like this. But anyways, um, Liza, stop. Okay, she's climbing my curtains. I'll be right back. Okay, I've gotten a lot of people asking me what we went with for a name. Oh, her little heart is beating so fast. You need to calm down a little bit. You're too jacked up. We decided to call her Liza. Uh, funniest thing about it was that um, on our way to go pick her up, my husband was like, out of the out of the blue, he's like, we should call her Liza. And I was like, no, not Liza. Like, it's so generic. It's, I don't know, it just seems like everyone has a cat named Liza. Maybe that's just me. But I don't know, I just feel like Liza was too generic. Where are you going? Right here. And then I put a question thing on my Instagram and three different people, three different people mentioned Liza and I was like, it's meant to be. So it's Liza now. Also, fun little fact about her. She has, if you would hold still for a second. <laughs> Liza, stop. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but her little tail. Stop. What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't wanna show the people your tail? Well, I don't know if I can be able to show you, but it is kind of like crooked. It has a little like, it's like that. And it, okay, fine, go play. Fine. Um, it's kind of crooked, and at first I didn't know like what it was, and like I thought, well, if it was broken, if I would like touch it or whatever, it'd probably hurt. And it, she didn't act like it hurt at all. And so then I, I texted the person we got her from, and she was like, no, it's just always been that way. So yeah, I kind of think it's adorable. It just sets her apart from other cats. <laughs> so honestly, the reason I decided to film today. Um, I am going to can some green beans today. If you watched my gardening video, you know that I did not get to plant as many green beans as I was hoping to. So, every time I pick my beans, I just can them right away. And I talked to my mom, and she has some beans um, that she's going to have left over, and she said I am welcome to use them. So, I think I'm going to get the majority of my beans from her. But I still am getting a little bit off of my plants. And so when I pick them, I just quickly can them. So I decided to take you guys along for that today. And I need to tell you about my canner. You guys are not going to believe this. So I'm going to run and get it real quick. And I will show it to you. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. This is the canner. Let me tell you, this thing is huge. Oh my goodness. It's massive. Okay, for those of you that know anything about this kind of canner, it's the um, the All American Pressure Cooker Canner. Um, my mom loves them, and it's kind of just what I've kind of grown up around. I don't know why I have this weird phobia of pressure canners, I, and I love these canners because they have these little like um, screw on knobs, and then you put the lid on and you screw these down, and there's like there's like completely safe, and I love that because yeah, I. Your canners. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, All American is the brand. And if you if you're familiar with this brand, you have their canners, you know anything about them. Um, the canner, this is the model um, uh, 941. So if you know anything about them, if that means anything to you, it's the model 941, and it holds 32 pint jars and 19 quart jars. Oh, hi there. Look who came over to say hi! Look at you! Look. So I need to tell you a little bit about how I got the canner. I'd been looking for one. I wanted All American. And um, I was looking online. They were way too expensive. I was trying to find one used. <sighs> having no luck. I was praying for one because I was getting a little bit desperate. I knew I was going to be doing canning this summer. And I, yeah, I just needed one. And anyway, so one day I was talking with my neighbor about my garden, and I guess we started talking about canning, and I mentioned that I was looking for a canner. And she's like, Kim, I have one that I would be happy to sell to you. Um, apparently, she had an all-American brand. We agreed that that was the best. <laughs> 
And um, yeah, she doesn't have a garden this year. She's retiring. And so she was, she told me, she's like, yeah, I'm looking to sell my canner if you'd like it. I was like, oh my goodness, yes. And so she brought it over one day and I was completely blown away by it. Anyways, I looked it up new. It's it's around $700 new. Um, and yeah, she only charged me around $100 for it. So yeah, such an answer to prayer. Everything was still in its box. It was brand new. She said she had only used it twice. <laughs> but it'll do. Don't think I'm complaining because I'm not. I'm really thankful for any of the beans that I get off my plants. So I picked some jalapenos to make jalapeno poppers to go with my lunch. Um, and I don't even feel guilty about having them while Daryl's at work because he doesn't really care for jalapeno poppers. So it's the perfect thing that I can make for myself while he's at work without feeling guilty. eating all of them for lunch. <laughs> I just made six of them and yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to snack on them this afternoon while I'm doing beans. And I have a sandwich and green olives because I love green olives and of course, is it even lunch if you don't have a Dr. Pepper? So I'm gonna eat quick and then get back to work. Growing up, uh, mom would always let us watch a movie while we either snipped green beans or shelled peas or lima beans or whatever we had to do that day. Um, and I guess it's kind of carried over into my adult life. <laughs> so I put on the office while I snip my beans and it kind of just made the time go faster. <laughs> One thing I learned from my mom is that when you have extras from your garden, you share them. <laughs> so I put some green beans and some bell peppers and I picked a sunflower and I put them in a basket and took them over to my neighbor lady. Okay, fast forward a few hours, I went to work, we got home, had supper and started on the beans again. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but I am married to a fireman and we have a scanner in our house and I'm getting a little bit tired of constantly trying to edit out the scanner in the background of my videos and voiceovers. So I think I'm gonna just start leaving it. Um, if that bothers someone, let me know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here we're putting Vaseline around the rim. It's a metal on metal seal, so you cannot skip this step. <laughs> Okay guys, I do not claim to be a canning expert, but I will give this a shot. Um, okay, so first of all, this is the uh, pressure gauge, and then over here is where your steam comes out. That's where you're gonna put your weight. Wait to put the weight on, <laughs> see what I did there? Um, until you have a very steady stream of steam, um, and then put it on the 10 pounds, just like that. You're gonna start to see your pressure go up. You wanna get up to the 10 on the gauge there. It should start to wobble like that. Cook it for about 25 minutes, but check your book. The cook times will vary depending on what you are canning. So check the manual. All right guys, we're done canning my green beans. It has been a process, let me tell you, but we're done, and so far I've heard three of them seal, so I'm crossing my fingers with the rest of them seal, but I think they will. It went really good, um, and yeah, I think I only got 13 jars here. Um, yeah, like I said before, my guard, there goes another one. Isn't that the best sound ever? <laughs> but what I was saying is that, yes, my garden was smaller this year than I was hoping for, and I didn't get to plant as many beans. I've said that before. And all I got were 13 quarts, but I'm gonna take what I can get. So I am really excited and they're sealing and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It is late and I am ready to go to... <laughs> I'm sorry, that makes you so happy. <laughs> um, anyways, it is really late. I am ready to go to bed and be done. Canning. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. And yeah, uh, have a great week. I'll see you back here next Tuesday for another video. Bye.